Hi, I'm Paul with Iron Ore Fitness. Okay, so we're talking today about the keto diet. Um, something I'm sure you guys have all heard about, very popular right now. I'm uh, gonna talk about just kind of a little bit of what it actually is, just the kind of the background of how it reacts with like your body, um, why it kind of is popular, I would say now, and then kind of pros and cons, and maybe, you know, see if it's the right fit for you. So when we're talking about the keto diet, essentially what you're doing is you're switching your body from carbohydrate-based fuels to fat-based for fuel, right? So the body prefers carbohydrates just because it's the easiest source of energy. It's the easiest way for your body to convert food into blood sugar, which is goes to our brain, goes to our muscles, everything like that. Uh, when we deprive the body of carbohydrates, it's gonna be uh, resilient in survival, so it's gonna find a way to kind of make its own blood sugar from that. So we store um, carbohydrates in our muscles as glycogen, also in our liver. So if you eat a regular you know, diet, your body has already stuff stored in there as glycogen. When you go off of carbs, your body will essentially deplete the rest of that. And when that happens, glycogen is stored with like two parts of water. So initially when you get on the keto diet, you'll shed a bunch of water weight and you're like, oh, you know, I'm losing weight. This is awesome, right? Um, so that, what that is is just like water weight. You haven't really started to lose any fat yet. Uh, so when the body starts to go into making ketone bodies, it's taking fatty acids in your body, um, in your liver, it's producing, um, basically it's taking that, breaking it down, and then it's making a ketone body. So those ketone bodies essentially are now working as that blood sugar that you would have got from glucose that you would have got from carbohydrates, right? So essentially from there, your body should be a fat burning machine. So when you're on the keto diet, you're eating primarily fats, should be good fats, but I know some people are eating butter and bacon, things like that. A um, little bit of proteins, very minimal amount of carbohydrates, and it should be coming from like vegetables. Um, now this diet will work for people initially, right? Because you're gonna lose a lot of water and then your body's gonna start burning fat. The problem that I see with this is that as soon as you go back to eating regular food, carbohydrate-based food, and that's usually where people have the issues with, you know, cookies and things like that, especially around the holidays, your body now switches out of that ketosis mode and now it's using that glycogen again as, um, as energy. So when that happens, it's going to store the water immediately and you're gonna notice a big spike in just like in weight. And again, it's water because we lost the water, we gained the water back. So the problem that I see just with the diet overall is it might not be sustainable. The best type of diet is one that you can stick to all the time, right? So if there's one that you only can eat certain types of food and you go off of it and you have one type of thing, right? Your diet is now off track for now a few days, you have to get back on it. So. Um, the next thing that I see is kind of, a, a kind of a con with that is we don't really have that many studies on what the long-term effects are with this type of diet. Um, if you're eating a lot of fat every single day, no one knows what that's gonna be 10 years from now. They just haven't done the studies and it might be that it's nothing, but um, there just hasn't been enough time. It's very new to just really give us some good scientific data on is this healthy or is this not healthy? The last thing is athletes now someone who needs um readable read, readily available energy and they need it quickly ketone bodies are not going to do that for you it's not it's not the quickest way so if you're an athlete if you're someone who endurance wise needs a lot of energy carbohydrates should still be your primary fuel source um now again some people react differently with like carbs and stuff you could try to go low carb but i think the difference between a low carb diet which is balanced and a high fat very low carb diet is that again you're not getting enough carbs for like your workouts everything like that so if performance is something that you're really concerned about probably stay away from the keto diet if you are kind of a sedentary person don't get a whole lot of exercise it might be a good diet for you as long as you can stick to it so again i encourage you do your own research um, kind of play around with different things find what is best for you what you can stick with 365 days out of the year and if you have any questions, you come find us in the gym.